What's so special about viral marketing? If you failed to see the recent link on YouTube of a naked mankinian smashing into the glass door of a Spanish tennis court, you were probably in a minority. Over 4 million people did in just one day. But, what's that got to do with global advertising you might ask? At first sight, nothing, it was just a bit of a laugh and everyone deep down likes to laugh at other people's misfortune. Internet marketing isn't frivolous though, it's deadly serious. Yet, however tenuous it may seem, there is a link and it's one that can make a huge difference to those involved in the world of advertising and marketing. The link is viral or put it this way, popular.to many the word viral obviously can have unpleasant, even morbid connotations, the recent swine flu epidemic stands as a testament to that. Viruses just aren't pleasant. In marketing, however, virus can be a good, especially if they can capture the public's attention. Any concept or idea might have the potential to spread globally, but it doesn't mean it will. There's never any sort of guarantee, it has to be something really special and become the thing everyone's talking about. Ideas only catch on and spread if people want to share them with their families and coworkers. You might not be able to understand what could ever possess 4 million people to watch a naked Mancunian make a fool of himself, but they did, and the reason is they wanted to. In 2008, the American company Blendtec released its Will It Blend, videos showing all manner of unusual items being shredded in a blender. The images took off immediately, becoming a global phenomenon and making it on to almost every news channel. Popularity though doesn't automatically translate into profit. Would there have been any point in the company producing these entertaining videos if the publicity didn't generate extra sales? The answer in a sense is possibly yes, as any extra publicity won't harm a company's profile, but Blendtec were also able to turn this increased online publicity into almost a 600% increase in sales, not bad for a day's work really. So what determines whether an idea will ever go viral? All any company can ever do is come up with a concept or image and hope that it takes off. It's not something that can ever be forced, but it needs to be so appealing that people will want to spread the word and recommend others do the same. There are some things, of course, that any company can do to make it more likely to catch on, but, like I said before, there are no guarantees, give away valuable products and services this might not seem like the obvious tactic but it draws people in and attracts interest in your product. The payback will come when those who are attracted to your offer go on to buy something else, in other words, speculate to accumulate. Be prepared if the product does take off if your offer is so appealing, it's important to make sure that there are systems in place that mean lots of people are able to look at what you're offering. There's no point producing a fantastically popular concept that lots of people want to look at, if your system crashes as soon as the numbers watching start to increase. Make sure the idea slash product is easy to pass on to others, people will only pass on a message or recommendation if the process is simple.